Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So yesterday I was fortunate enough to do the uh, Mets game recap over at Mets Blog. So I want to say thank you to Matt Cerrone for asking me to do uh, the recap over at Mets Blog. I really appreciate that. Uh, and it was nice to kind of do that for you over at Mets Blog. And as I was kind of reading down the comments that were left after the game recap, uh, one comment stood out that I kind of want to address. And that comment was from user... Uh, Mets 41 and uh, Mets 41 asked the question anyone care to speculate whether or not a 500 season is within reach um, and to kind of answer that question I'm going to say no I don't think a 500 season is within reach and I'm sure most of you out there will agree with me based on the way that this team is playing but really I got three reasons to that I want to say that why a 500 season is not within reach for this team uh, the first one is their inconsistent play. They haven't uh, shown uh, any sign really all season long that they can go on a, a winning streak and sustain that to play above 500 for uh, a long uh, period here. So that's one reason. The second reason is all the call-ups. It seems like right now the Mets are giving sort of these young players and, and the guys that they're calling up a chance to play so that they can see what they can do to see if these guys uh, factor in their future plans, which I agree with them doing. But when you have a bunch of young players uh, playing like this that don't have the experience at the major league level, it's kind of difficult to ask them to play above 500 baseball uh, in September. So, I, you know, I don't think that's a second reason why I don't think that the Mets will uh uh, finish the season at or above 500 and really and then the third reason is uh, Johan Santana uh, he's a question mark right now uh, don't know if he's going to pitch anymore this year uh, he's got an injury uh, he was supposed to pitch uh, Tuesday and he's going to miss that start and when you have your ace pitcher uh, injured and he's a question mark it's kind of difficult to go on a winning streak and sustain that without your number one pitcher, even though the Mets don't score runs for him when he's in there anyway. So uh, those really are my three reasons why I don't think that the Mets will finish at or above 500 for the season. I don't think that it's a, a reachable goal for them this year. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you soon.